Hello Year 8. Today, <clears throat> what we are going to do, we are going to move on from the work that we've been doing on pressure and we're going to do the last bit of this, uh, this physics topic. Uh, I want us to cover something called moments. Now, obviously, ideally, we would be doing this in the lab uh, at school. Unfortunately, we can't do that. So I'm going to have to try and explain to you what a moment is uh, using Doddle and also using that, uh, that website with the virtual lab that we've used before. Now, first of all, what a moment is. Okay. Um, now, let me just move my face a moment. Now, uh, this little revision page uh, I've taken from Doddle, and I would suggest after watching this video uh, that you actually go away and explore this resource uh, yourself. Now, what a moment is, a moment really is a turning force. And as we can see here on the screen, an example of that would be uh, undoing a nut and bolt. We use a spanner to do that. Now, the point at which you get that turning force, that's known as a uh, those of you who watch Top Gear when they talk about the torque of an engine what they're actually talking about is they're talking about the uh, the, the moment how much turning force um, uh, an engine can produce okay my computer's a little bit slow you will be pleased to know just like when we did uh, all those speed calculations there is an equation that you can use to calculate how much turning force or how big a moment actually is. And here it is. The moment or turning force is equal to how much force you use multiplied by how far away that force is from the pivot. Just like when we did speed calculations, that means that we can put it into one of these magic triangles and the magic triangle works in exactly the same way as the magic triangle um, uh, for our speed calculations okay the only other thing you need to know are the units that we measure moments in and the units for uh, measuring moments is always force distance now, normally that would be Newton meters. Now, whenever you use these units, it's really important that you don't put that slash bit. So it's not Newtons per meter, it's Newton meters. OK. Now, if I just move on, let's go back to our uh, spanner nut and bolt. OK, here would be the pivot. OK, here's where the force is being applied to that spanner. Here's the distance that that force is being applied. And if you know all those things, then using that equation, you can work out how much force is being applied to that nut and bolt. OK, um, like I said, what I suggest you do is that you actually follow the link and you look through this stuff yourself on Doddle. Now, if you understand that, you can then also think about how you would actually increase the turning force on that, uh, that nut, because there's two ways that you can do that. OK, one way, quite simply, is to use more force. You get somebody a bit stronger to apply the force to that nut. The other thing that you can do is you can actually hold that spanner or use a longer spanner so that the distance between the force and the uh, and the pivot increases okay now if we move on and that's explained on this next slide here now with all this in mind what i would like you to do over the next two lessons i'm going to give you two lessons to do this is i want you to follow the other link that i've posted you that is going to take you um, uh, to this website and on here there's a whole bunch of virtual experiments that you can carry out to investigate moments start with the introduction and when you click on intro this is what you get you get like a seesaw okay here's the pivot you can see different objects that you can put on that seesaw up here, there's a hole um, uh, that you can switch on 
OK, I'm going to suggest that you switch on the mass labels that tells you the mass of the objects that you're putting on there doesn't tell you, unfortunately, how much they weigh. Remember, one kilogram of mass is equivalent to 10 newtons here on Earth. So if you've got a fire extinguisher that's got a mass of five kilograms, that weighs or that produces a force of 50 newtons. I'm also going to suggest you switch on the forces from the objects. What that will do, if I just pick something up and put it on our seesaw here, it will just give you a little arrow force. I'm also going to suggest that you switch on the level and that will show you how level each side of the seesaw is. In this second box that says position, you switch on rulers. That way you can accurately measure how far your objects are from the pivot. OK, so that's just the little intro bit. If you then go to balance lab, that then I'm going to switch all the things on. That then will allow you to explore making things balance. So, for example, here I've got five kilograms of mass, 50 newtons. OK, if I place that one metre from the pivot, so I've got a force of 50 newtons, one metre from the pivot. OK, we know the equation, force times distance from pivot. So the moment is going to be 50 times one, which would be 50 newton metres. How far would I have to put, <coughs> excuse me, a 10 kilogram mass um, or a 100 newton weight? Well, to make it balance. I would have to put it closer, I'd have to put it at 0 0.5 metres. If I then take away the two little things that hold it up, OK, we can then check that it balances. If I were to move that, you can see, look, that it then does not balance. Second thing I want you to do then, have a little play with this second screen. The last little bit, once you're happy with all that and how that all works, move on to the game. And there are four levels to work through. OK, uh, each time getting a little bit more complicated. You are going to have to bear in mind that equation that we looked at uh, on Doddle. I'll just go back. OK, you are going to have to use perhaps your magic triangle. OK, and it will get increasingly difficult. But like I said, have a little play with it. I'm going to give you two lessons to do this and then we will go back to Doddle. I hope all that makes sense. I hope you're all well and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.